Hello everyone, this is Richard Olivia Jr., the executive producer and director of the Volume Impersonator Show. We're here at New York Indian Film Festival 2016. We're here last year, and I'm here again. I'm here again, interviewing a lot of celebrities and new up-and-coming emerging artists, and I came across one, and his name is... Hey, I'm Roger and Orion. Welcome to New York, New York Indian Film Festival. Well, I'm from New York, so thank you. It's been it's great to be back. You know, I, I lived here for a long time and now settled in L.A., but I'm glad to be back again. Nice, nice. So you feel like you're at home. I'm at home, my other home. <laughs> oh, so how, my other homes. You're one, one of his other homes. Because you got two homes when you're an actor. you got to be in L.A., you got to be in New York. And, be both. and don't forget Bollywood, so India. And India, so we got three homes. <laughs> yeah, India's going to be my next home. <laughs> That's another film. <laughs> but hey, so wow, tell us about your film. Pretty cool. Uh, I have two films here at the festival. The Man Who Knew Infinity was the kickoff film for the festival. It was a week ago. And then uh, tomorrow we have U-Turn, in which I play the lead actor. And that's screening tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, tell us about this, this particular film, uh, U-Turn. Uh, U-Turn is a psychological thriller, and uh, it's a story of an investigation. I play a cop in the film, cool. uh, Sub-Inspector Nayak. Nice. Um, nice. And uh, it's, a, it's a very, very wonderful script and wonderful film. And uh, I had a blast making the film with Pawan Kumar, who also did Lucia, which is a very popular film in India. So this was great. You're working with some, some great producers, directors. Yeah. So how was, what was the preparation for this role? Uh, uh, psychological thriller. Whoa. We love it. Wow, this is deep. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, you know, with all of my roles, I like to uh, be very flexible and I work with the directors, mm. whatever their style is. In this case, my director was very supportive. And so I actually spent many days in an actual police station shadowing a police inspector, mm -hmm. just, you know, just observing, just being a fly on the wall, mm -hmm. just kind of keeping to myself but just observing everything that's going on and what he's doing how he's dealing with things how he's dealing with the staff and like just that was kind of like a, a, a little bit of the physical outer aspect of things uh, you know they talk about the inside to outside mm -hmm. outside to inside thing mm -hmm. so that was in outside going inside so inside going outside psychological like you rightly mentioned uh, is basically you know getting into the mind of the character just trying to see you know who they are what their experiences of life are what are the scars what are the aspirations hopes like as a police inspector and you know, i got to play a multi-layered role mm. uh, there's some romance there's a lot of like strictness the cop thing right. there's a lot of tenderness with the girl yes there's like a whole range of you know things that i need to kind of switch between and connect with and connect with so uh so i really look for the truth and the authentic kind of life experience of a police inspector who might have right. gone through something like that mm. so it was great preparing for that i draw a lot from my life but I try to keep it separate too because you know after a while it gets confusing. <laughs> That's uh, him. That's what. That's not his role. That can happen too. <laughs> well, I, well, I, talk, I talk about preparation because well, I, I had to prepare for um, Asian character I had to play sure. five hours of makeup for my oh. character Mr. Chow oh, for right. a comedy web series. That's a good one. So it was actually a very <clears throat> very challenging to watch. I'm in Chinatown. I'm just watching mannerisms and I aced the character. It was cool. So yes. Like I was like, hey, so Mr. Chow, ni hao, ni hao, I work hard. It was crazy. So that was pretty cool. Wow, so are you, how long are you going to be in New York? You're going to be in New York for some yeah, time? I'm huh? here for the run of the festival. I'm here until the closing night. Uh, I go back to LA for a day. Then I fly to India for the release of our film in India on May 20th. Congratulations. This Thank you. This, this is, is going to be. Yeah, it's gonna so, be where can people reach you on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram? Don't give it out because some people are psychos. I gave out my Twitter and it went crazy. Some woman was stalking me, so you be careful. Yeah. But no, no, no. I'm, I'm very easy to find. Just Roger Narayan. Just Google me. I'm all over Ooh. with my work and everything. So, we'll IMDb. IMDb I'm, keeps us safe. I'm on IMDb as well. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Well, we're a comedy show, so I'm asking you if you have a joke, impersonation, or embarrassing moment. I, I'm, I, I pride myself in <laughs> loving to play and saying yes and improvising, all the whole improvising Improv. stuff. Um, embarrassing, you know. Uh, People spot me on the street, and I'm, I'm in my space. Usually when I'm trying to prepare for a character or something, I'm like going about my thing, and they're like, hey, Roger, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> so so it, it is me, but you know, I'm, I'm just kind of living my See, life today. Like, that's good. But you know, you, 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 know, you learn that you know, I, I love to be polite and just cool. talk to people still. So that always surprises me and gets me you know, kind of embarrassed a little bit, but I'm like, you know, we take it well. the real people that want to just connect and you know talk yeah. I want to invite you to our short film series oh, a second you. annual event yeah. it's going to be held in New York okay. uh, Producers Club Theater and that's info on the comedy show oh, thanks, and uh, we're going to be reading some sketches for season 6 of okay. the show awesome. so maybe you could we'll probably read together It'd be my comedy sketch let me look at and we're looking scene. yeah oh, pretty cool and we're looking into um, a feature film a romantic awesome. comedy film in India right. yeah. we're going to shoot 
in India. We're going to shoot here in New York as well. And um, yeah, so I'm, I, we may be working together. We don't know. He come and read from my script. It's a small world. I it can happen. Into five people I didn't know were going to be here today. Look at that. Small I'm world. Sure it's very small world. America, get ready to laugh because here comes the Rhyme Impersonator Show. <laughs> <laughs> we stop this crazy stuff. I don't know what happened. Are we, we just cut? kept doing that. You're running. You're running sensation. the camera. She's still running. <laughs> stop those outtakes. She's getting all the stop the stuff. Stop it. Cut. <laughs> cut. Cut. Bring down comedy. Originality. And now the whole world will see. The whole world will see. It's the Rhyme Impersonator Show. BK Uptown, can you feel this? The Rhyme Impersonator Show. Bridge, bring you down, can you feel it's this? I'm a personator show. All the world's that now, can you feel it's this? I'm a personator show. America, get ready to laugh. Oh, yo, scoy wobbit.